Pretty much every esports title has its legends. Players reputed for their high skill level and list of accomplishments. You know, usually it just takes time for that sort of reputation to form. But on one summer weekend, there was a player that maybe you've heard of that rose to fame faster than anybody could have ever imagined. From dancing for a few dozen viewers all the way to becoming an international icon. Yo, this guy's name is Booga and his journey to number one. What's going on guys? It's the motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, nothing in this life comes easy, man. You know, you gotta work hard every single day. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta be faithful with things. You gotta just be a beast, man, and just grind it out. Laziness is not gonna earn you the results that you want, not only in this game, but also in life. So you gotta work hard, guys. Come on, get up, keep going, keep grinding. Know that hard work does pay off, trust me. Connect with me on my Instagram, I would love to hear from you. But before we get into it guys, your question of the day is, where were you when you saw Booga win it all? Was it in person, were you at home, or maybe with your friends or family? You know, I was by myself eating my bunch of crunch, you know, watching on the big screen myself, and the hype was unreal. Even though I was watching alone, well, I wasn't really alone, I had my bunch of crunch. It still felt like I was a part of something. Anyways, hey, let us know in the comments down below, where were you? Also, if you guys wanna get better at Fortnite, click the link below to go to proguys.com, your number one source for getting better at Fortnite, and that was the perfect time to start improving, man. We also have pro coaches that can guide you step-by-step -step on how to get better because tips are out there, but structure isn't. Let's be real. So don't forget to check this out after the video. All right, guys, now sit back, relax, and you better get my favorite candy right now, that bunch of crunch, and let's get it going. Kyle Buga Giersdorf what an amazing name, was born on December 30th, 2002. He grew up in a small town of Potts Grove, Pennsylvania, a quiet community with a population of only a few thousand. Luckily for Booga, he was born into a family that embraced the playful side of life. Aww. His dad was a video game enthusiast since before he was born, so it didn't take very long for Booga to follow in his footsteps. By the time he was heading into kindergarten, Booga was already into gaming. We don't know about like which game he was playing at the time, but what we do know is, is that the history behind how he got his name. What is Booga from? Uh, my grandpa gave me the name when I was like a baby. He used to say like, Booga, 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 and I used to laugh. <laughs> oh, no so, way. That's where I get it from. Fast forward to the summer of 2017, Fortnite Save the World gets released by Epic Games, and Booga's father, being the gamer that he is, takes notice. Of course, just like any excellent dad would, he gets his son involved as well. Booga tried the game out, playing it for a bit, before realizing that he wasn't a big fan of the PvE gameplay. Shooting AI opponents just wasn't appealing to him. However, what he did fancy was the new hit game mode that came alongside it, Battle Royale. From the release of Battle Royale, Booga was pretty much hooked. He began learning the game as much as he could, stacking up hundreds of wins and rising to the top of the leaderboard. Initially, he was playing on the PlayStation 4 for the first few months, but as he started taking it more seriously, he eventually made the swap to PC around the game's third season. Soon after the switch to be a more capable system, Booga stepped into competitive play. He would spend time after school and on the weekends, screaming with his buddies and enjoying the higher level of play. The comp scene was pretty still new around this time, so there wasn't really anything too serious about it just yet. However, it was an excellent way for Booga to compare his skills against the other top players. It was also around this time that Booga started to stream on Twitch. For the first few months, he was probably only getting five or 10 viewers on average. But just like with other successful streamers, he had to start somewhere. In August 2018, about a year after the game he launched, Booga had his first ever tournament results. He plays 45th in the Fortnite Pro League with his team no clout. It wasn't a spectacular conclusion or anything like that, considering that, you know, 44 teams did better than his, but that just left Booga wanting more. A few months later, when he was still only 15 years old, Booga participated in one of the first offline tournaments, the Microsoft Store Fortnite Championship, an event that over four weeks had thousands of players from all over the continent fighting for their chance at big money and the sweet glory of victory. Booga's team, consisting of players by the names of Cody, Struggs, and Wits, worked their way up through the qualifying stages, eventually making it to the finals. Playing from the King of Prussia Mall, just outside of Philadelphia, Booga's team fought hard and managed to finish second place. Okay guys, so they won $5,000 and Booga got his first big taste of prize money. It was around this time that Booga knew that he had it in him. Knowing this was what he wanted to do, you know, Booga followed his dream and he just continued pursuing competitive play. Around this time, Epic Games really began pushing esports by hosting several minor online events anyone could participate in. So of course, Booga didn't hesitate to join in on the action. 
Over a few months, Booga managed to place in the top 50 for the Winter Royale, top 10 in the Share the Love series, and second place in the World Cup warm-up with his dual partner, Kuros. None of these results were outstanding or drew all that much attention, but the results were consistent. He was placing in top percentiles and winning prizes. Anyone following the scene just knew that Booga had some serious potential. On March 25th, 2019, all right, Booga's hard work and dedication paid off. He was picked up by esports organization Sentinels, a team that he's still part of to this day. The signing didn't really get much attention at the time, you know, it kind of just sort of flew under the radar, but it's not like anyone at the time could just know how significant this would end up being. Now, before we continue talking about Booga's further success, all right, we first need to give some credit to his parents. Starting out, they were a little apprehensive about the whole competitive gamer thing, just like many of our parents are. We get it. Their son was putting so much time into the game, time they'd rather see him do schoolwork or extracurricular activities or even finding a job. But by placing consistently in tournaments, okay, the light bulb just probably went on. When they saw winning cash prizes and, you know, him getting picked up by a pro org, his parents soon embraced the path. They began to encourage him any way they could. They didn't want him quitting school or anything like that, but, you know, as long as his grades were good enough, they let him do his thing. Did you guys ever have those moments where he was in playing six hours a day? Absolutely. Uh, we still have them. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's all in moderation, you know, and we always told him that as long as his grades were up, we would support him and we would try to do what we could. And as soon as the grades would start slipping, then we said, in, which they haven't, thank God, um, we said that, you know, we're, there's consequences to that. Booga's dad was especially supportive, and he still is to this day. There was a time that you could find him on Reddit and Twitter telling everyone about how awesome his son is. Plugging his stream wherever he could and silencing all the haters that stood in his way, Booga's dad even streams on Twitch every now and then, which is about as close to the culture as anyone can get. Although there's no doubt, guys, that Booga is an insanely talented individual. Without his parents' immense support, he likely would not be where he is today. When it was announced that the Fortnite World Cup would have a prize pool of $30 million, it brought Fortnite esports to the forefront. $30 million was the largest single prize pool anyone had ever even imagined for a video game event, so it really just caught all eyes. There were 10 weeks of qualifier matches, five for solos and five for duos. Each player would play multiple games on the weekends and work their way up the leaderboards to prove that they were among the best in their region. For Booga to qualify for solos playing in NA East, he would have to finish among the top six for any of the solo weeks. Now, this is in the top six out of tens of thousands of participants. All right, this is not easy to say the least. With the format of the event, Booga would have five separate chances to qualify for solos, but he didn't even need those. He didn't even need two. Booga was so hungry for a piece of that pie, man. He dropped 69 points and qualified immediately in the first week. Wow. That guaranteed him a prize of at least $50,000 at the finals in New York, with the potential to win up to $3 million. But I think we all know by now that Booga wasn't going to settle for the minimum. So after the qualifiers had ended, Booga must have felt all the confidence in the world. It was the week preceding the World Cup Finals, and a lot of European, Oceanic, and South American players were already boot camping in New York. So the NA East region was stacked. There was a Trios Cash Cup event that some were hailing as the hardest online tournament ever due to the best players from all over the world participating. Nevertheless, Booga and his Sentinels trio dominated. They smacked all four in competition and managed to come first. If for any reason Booga needed a boost to believe in himself before the World Cup Finals, uh, I think he got one. Come July 28, 2019, the solo finals began. 100 of the best players duped it out over six matches to prove once and for all who was the best. Now, six games is a lot to work with, but it only took the first for Booga to show that he was the man. He won the opening match with nine eliminations, giving him an explosive lead that really built up his confidence. His next match was surprisingly unlucky, as he got killed pretty much at the start. Most players would probably feel bad at this point and probably just let it affect their performance, but Booga did not let it get to him. There's no way that he allowed himself to just drop down in the standings after coming so far and sacrificing so much. Throughout the next four matches, he avoided whatever happened in Game 2, and he played some of the most consistent Fortnite that anyone had ever saw. We're talking placement points and eliminations in every single match. Which, mind you, that's not easy. This is 100 of the best players in the world we're talking about. To end up with those results, this guy had to outperform everyone by a mile. Going into the last match, whew, Booga had earned himself a monumental lead, 15 points over second place. That lead alone was more points than 75% of the players even had. 
Even if he were to lose the next match right off the bat, there was almost no way anybody could take his number one spot. So going into game six, Booga pretty much knew that he had this in the bag. That $3 million prize was his. And even though it was pretty much secure, that didn't stop him from playing his heart out still. He made it all the way to the last five players remaining, picking up five of limbs along the way as if he needed the points or something. Just look at how he reacts when he's eliminated. Absolute joy. Okay, so the results came in. And with an astonishing 59 point finish, Booga was crowned the first ever Fortnite solo world champion. At this moment, there was just no doubt. He was by far the best player in the world. Following his win at the World Cup, Booga's popularity immediately exploded. His YouTube, Twitch, and socials saw over 100,000 new followers each day for the coming week. Now he sits at over 1.3 million YouTube subs, 1.1 million followers on Twitch, and 500,000 on his Twitter. Just a little over a year after only pulling five viewers a stream. That's just completely nuts to think about. Now Booga wasn't only blowing up within the esports and Fortnite scenes, he was also gathering a ton of attention at a mainstream level. He was invited to interviews, morning shows, and even made an appearance on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. People who didn't play Fortnite would talk about that kid who won millions of dollars playing a video game. With how humble and how level-headed Booga just came across, there couldn't have been a better person to win it all. Once the media blitz ended, Booga returned back home and to the grind. The Fortnite Champion Series was beginning soon, and even though he just won enough money to retire with, Booga's competitive drive would keep him in action. Ever since his big win, this guy has had enough great results to show that he's still one of the top individuals in the world. When he's not committing to Fortnite, you can catch this guy doing other things he enjoys like playing Counter-Strike on stream or working on his acting with his teammates in small sketches. Yo, what's going on, man? I was in a game. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I thought I weren't home for the night. My bad. All right, well, I'm going to head back up. Let me know if you need anything, all right? No, man, I'm great. All right, cool. So, what's next for Kyle Booga Gearsdorf? Right now, he's just finishing up his last two years of high school. Booga's got a great head on his shoulder, and he knows not all good things can last forever. He said that as if his whole gaming thing ever starts to slow down, he's probably going to end up going to college and finding something else to settle in his mind. But things don't appear to be slowing down, so it doesn't look like that's going to ever happen. Time and time again, he shows that winning the World Cup wasn't a fluke. So here he is pulling a 27 kill win in a Champions Division arena game. That high of a kill count is almost unheard of in the season. Yes sir, Booga still got game. And even if things didn't work out, it's not like he's ever going to have to work again. I feel like if you ask any 16-year-old, what would you do with $3 million? Most will respond with like, okay, I'm going to buy an expensive car or spending it on designer clothes or whatever. But in Booga's case... So what are you going to do with all that cash? Save the money, put it to my future, and uh, probably buy a new desk. A new desk? <laughs> not right. even a new computer? No. Nah. No. So only a new desk? Are you serious? If that's not humble, I don't know what is. Most recently, Booga was recognized for his accomplishments at the Esports Awards. He took home the PC Rookie of the Year, as well as the Player of the Year Awards, a significant achievement considering some of the legends he was up against. As for if Booga can win the next World Cup, when asked in an interview, he said, for sure, I got enough confidence, you know. Just what I like to hear, and we all look forward to seeing it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, this is The Motivation Guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Keep grinding, guys. Don't give up. Don't surrender. When you fall down, get back up, all right? You're getting better and better, and this is your year. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all about Booga's rise to the top. He's really a, just an amazing player and personality. No one deserves success as much as this guy. Don't forget to visit ProGuys.com. Comment down below what you guys thought about the video and what you like to see next. We aim to bring you guys daily quality content, so do us a favor by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. Also, make sure to put code ProGuys. Thanks for watching. Once again, we'll see you next time.